Population, Post Singularity, 2045. Josh Rodriguez, English, 1110, December 1st, 2011. As we reach the point of post singularity of 2045, my goal was to examine the human population. I tried to see how an increase in advanced technology can directly affect population. In my findings, I came up with the conclusion that there are two main problems that will occur during this time period. The first problem is the gap between the rich and the poor will increase tremendously. The rich will become richer and the poor will become even poorer. This gap between the rich and the poor will cause a dramatic increase in the population birth rate. An increased birth rate means more babies. You may be wondering why, but throughout this presentation you will learn exactly why this will occur. This is a video showing the growth of the population over the last two centuries, from the Roman Empire to the informational age. One dot equals one million people. In 11 AD, the population was 300 million. It took 1,000 years to double to 600 million in 1011 AD. In 1960, the population reached a whopping 3 billion people and doubled in only 39 years. In 1999, the population was 6 billion people. A faster than exponential growth was clearly observed in human population from 0 to 1970 AD, proving to be super exponential. It is predicted by 2045, the population should reach over 9 billion people. Due to the era of post-singularity, there will be a rapid decrease in the mortality rate because of the improvement made in the field of medicine, resulting in the life expectancy to be greater. However, the issue and problem here is as the fertility rate increases and as the mortality rate decreases, it equals the second problem the era of post-singularity will have on our population which is overpopulation in our planet Earth. What problems will occur due to overpopulation? Number one, decrease in food supply. Number two, Decrease in natural resources. Number three, increase in world wars. Solutions from fellow Northeastern Husky students. Okay, I think that we should create a plan to inhabit the moon by the time that overpopulation is going to be detrimental on the human population. Um, and I think that we should have a lotto system to send, <laughs> send people up to the moon. Um, because obviously you can't transport the entire human race up to. <laughs> you need to 
raise the standard of living of every nation because those nations that have the higher standard of living tend to have the lower birth rates because they don't depend on their children to support them the later in life. The solution to overpopulation would be to encourage people to move to new areas that aren't as populated just to spread out the population and make it less crowded in the heavily popu populated areas. Although I don't necessarily agree with it, there is an option of toying with the mortality rate of the human population. You could kind of draw the line on how far you should go to save someone or to keep someone alive if they are on right, their deathbed. So in order to avoid overpopulation, the world's going to have to do exactly what China's doing right now. They're just going to have to have a strict limit on the number of kids people are allowed to have. They're going to have tax breaks for uh, having less kids, basically giving people money not to have I children. I think we should utilize all of the farmland and available space we have in our country and on our earth to increase the food supply so this way we wouldn't seem as overpopulated in comparison to now. My solution to overpopulation. The future is one that we make ourselves. Every human being that does not reach his or her full potential represents a net loss for the universe as a whole. The progress man has made in the universe with the creative talent of a small percentage of the available talents that are being put to use today is remarkable. If we could harness the potential of this slice of percentage we are now using, still an insignificant part of the total human race, the advantage to everyone in the universe as a whole would astound your wildest imagination. There are three main things we need to do as human beings on this earth. First, we need to get rid of the gap between the rich and the poor. Second, we need to switch our views from making money to improving our self-intelligence. Last but not least, we need to develop undeveloped nations in order to avoid problems the world may face in the era of post-singularity regarding increase in population. Not only will the problem of overpopulation be solved, but it will be abolished. Um, the solution to overpopulation in our world today, I'd say first off, we need to re-elect George W. Bush W. Secondly, we shouldn't be worried about overpopulation. We have we we still have a war on our hands, so uh, we need to what we need to do now is drive back Union forces and uh, take care of that uh, so the Confederacy wins the war, and um, I think we'll be all set.